My name is Sushma. I'm a proud ACORN member. My name is Jeff Alexander, and I'm an absolutely proud ACORN member. I'm Dave, and I'm a proud ACORN member. My name is Canada Druin, and I'm a proud, proud ACORN member. My name is Sanju, and I'm a proud ACORN member. Go ACORN! Hi, I'm Tom with Acorn Canada, uh -huh. and I'm just recirculating a petition for raising the minimum wage in BC okay. to ten bucks an hour. I'm so. all for it. Yeah, great. Absolutely. I'm low income. Right. A lot of people are. You can't live. On I know. Eight fifty an hour. Nobody can. Well, Acorn Canada is an association for of community organizations yeah. to reform now, and we basically uh, our members belong to the organization for ten dollars a month. And we uh, have meetings, local meetings in each community okay. that allow each member to give voice to their concerns. Mm -hmm. And we seek to provide a united front to effect change, like a, a community union yeah. in effect. And that's what we need here, I think. Right, to work together with your neighbors yeah. and other members of the community. Awesome, this is what we need in our city. Yeah. The door opened for Acorn, I walked through, and from that day, I've never looked back. So many other doors have opened since then. I don't feel like I'm a judge on society anymore. I feel like a, a productive member of society, and I like that. Somebody came knocking on my door. They heard I was uh, unhappy with where I was living. Acorn is an organization that uh, fights for the people, for their rights what they deserve. ACORN is the kind of organization that will go out and adopt a street and clean it up. A good group that wants to help the community and the underdogs. I've been able to help other tenants. I've been able to work towards uh, minimum wage issues, different uh, things like um, payday loans. Like so many people are on the streets right now because, because I go through them asking them, they, they say the system doesn't work for them. They wouldn't get a welfare. Because because they don't have that, how the how, how can they find a place to live if the money is not there? I want to see better wages in this country, in this province. I want to see uh, safer public transportation. I can't tolerate injustice. If I see something on the street going on injustice, I always uh, put my step in. Basically, it's a bunch of people standing up for what they believe in, no matter what it is. Right? You get you get the more people you have behind you. Right, the more power you have, and a lot of people have the same problems as you do. When I first started with Acorn, it was because there was bad lighting in the neighborhood, there was crime in the neighborhood, there was prostitution, drug junkies, and everybody said to me, you know, what's a good woman like you living in Wally? Because it had a bad name. But I purposely were, went back into that neighborhood to try and make a difference because it was a good neighborhood. It just had bad elements in it. Acorn puts the all back in Wally. I like this middle mosaic. It shows our diversity. Look, all you see is different kinds of people, and that's what's in Wally. This is where I live, in Wally, and I've lived here for three years, and I have no plans on moving. They fixed up the place, they put better lighting, and we've got people that walk around at night to give us security. And so these are all things that I've gotten since I've moved here with acorns. Since I've moved in here, the landlady and the, or the management company has changed all of our lighting so that we have better lighting and it's brighter and so that we don't have people hiding in corners any longer. And they were. They used to hide in here.
here we are in Surrey Central, SkyTrain, and this is where we first focused with Acorn. We wanted to get better lighting, better security. How people were scared before. They were scared to come out. If it was dark, they, you, you wouldn't see any older person out. Up until two years ago, we didn't have any kind of shrubbery of any kind, no flowers. And the city has tried to beauty up the place. And it's really lovely to see. And it's so much better now than it was three years ago. If you look around, you see less garbage and more smiling people. Hello. How are you? <laughs> and they're willing to say hello, how are you? And that's a good thing. And that's all because of Acorn. We lived in a building that was operated by Transglobe, Canada's largest rental property owners. In talking to my neighbors, I found out that pretty much everybody in the building was having some kind of issue. We were going to Transglobe just one-on-one -on -one by ourselves and getting nowhere. I found out that Acorn had already been involved in dealing with Transglobe in a couple of other cities. Acorn, basically, it's up to the members to decide what they want to do. Uh, when you join Acorn as a member, you get voting privileges. So I attended an Acorn meeting. I, I laid out my case, and uh, the rest of the members voted to support a PR face washing for, for Transglobe. a 16-story building that had bricks falling off the balconies. God help anybody who actually stood out on one of those balconies. Well, I don't like leaning on the railing <laughs> because I don't want to be part of the pavement. <laughs> All these bricks are falling right over the main entrance to the building. I go on to job sites every day, right? And if this was on a job site, right, it would be shut down. I've got emphysema, and if I get stuck needing an elevator down in a hurry, I'm in big trouble. They're very efficient at raising the rent and collecting the rent. However, I don't see that same sort of efficiency when it comes to customer service. Do we want? Action! When? Now! Much to my surprise, the management of Transglobe immediately decided that they wanted to try and address these issues after basically just turning a blind eye for well over a year. ACORN members pretty much forced them to come to the table. Since that event, ACORN members have had four meetings with top Transglobe executives who have actually accepted lists of complaints and lists of work orders. A couple of weeks ago, we went to BC Housing. We demonstrated for affordable housing for everyone. In my opinion, uh, poor people, they are getting poorer, and rich people, they are getting richer. Canada is a very advanced country. People, they deserve better. I'm a single mother, and uh, I'm working uh, not al almost like uh, $9 an hour. Food prices are going up day by day. Rent is going day up day by day. So it's so hard to survive. We can sit and talk with our MLAs or our ministers. We can tell them what kind of uh, problems we are dealing with, like a minimum wage, $8 so is not acceptable. Like at least it should be at $10, you know. Hi there, I'm here to visit you. Hi. <laughs> well, it took the Acorn Group to get everybody and have a meeting to help me get the intercom working so I can get meals on wheels because I missed three meals on, on them because they couldn't get in. And uh, 
I get um, calm care and lost out on some services because they couldn't get in. How often do you get out? To banks and doctors and they court meetings. Well, one thing I want to try to is get things more accessible for the disabled and so we have a choice in our life and everybody quit pushing us around. And uh, I really like to help the community and hope I can do something in my life that will make a difference. And what I really like about the Acorn, they treat you like a person. I get out and meet other people, did things that I never done before, like going to rallies. If you're interested in changing things or making things better for other people and yourself and the community and that, you should join the Acorn group because at least you'll have a voice in it. I mean, 10 years ago, I've never seen a payday lender anywhere. Now, they are on almost every street corner in, in the Lower Mainland. And they're victimizing people that are least able to defend themselves. And we're speaking about payday loan sharking. We put a proposal forward that would limit how close they are, their proximity to each other. There are nine in New Westminster right now. And we put forward a motion which would um, Hopefully put a um, zoning bylaw in place. No others will be able to open up within two kilometers of any other one. Right? And we're hoping that this could set a precedence um, in other cities in BC. In terms of payday loaning, we've gotten the provincial government to stop the rollover loans, and they're actually now working on caps on their interest rates. Sometime in 2009, after the provincial election, uh, payday lenders will be facing regulations and uh, the Solicitor General has asked ACORN for input in how to uh, determine those regulations. I think ACORN we can at least find somebody that will listen to you and I know it might take time to get everything that we need but at least it's a start. We've got voices and the community and people that are behind you, which helps. Acorn, we're all a family, and that's all there is to it. And I love my family. You should join Acorn because you meet a lot of people and you get a lot of good stuff done. It gives me motivation too. Like, oh wow, I can do something for myself and for my community. Let's get another campaign happening on transport. We've got to turn the heat up on them again. We're going to have a rally in front of one building a month. And we're not going to limit ourselves to New Garth. We're going to go into Surrey, we'll go into Burnaby, we'll go anywhere there's a transport building. 